Welcome everyone and thank you for tuning in to hear my trading and market updates. This is Uncle Frank and I'm not a financial advisor, nor is any of the content to be construed as financial advice. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. Please remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed the presentation and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you're alerted when I have new information to share. So now let's get into the latest updates. Hey, welcome back everybody. Yesterday AMC closed at 512 up 385. The Ape closed at $1.77 down 1.12%, bringing the consolidated price for AMC and Ape to 689 yesterday up 2.53% on 40.9 million shares traded. Now, based on that last price of 536, be expecting resistance to the upside at levels 526 541 and 553 AMC pre-market this morning already got up to 552 buckle up buttercup and here is what all the buzz is about AMC reports second quarter 2023 results total revenue grew by 15.6 compared to Q2 of 2022 to 1.35 billion I rounded that up net income was 8.6 million compared to a net loss of 121.6 million in Q2 of 2022 you turned to profit apes congratulations diluted earnings per share was one cent compared to a diluted loss per share of 12 cents Adjusted EBITDA improved by 75.8 million to 182.5 million compared to 106.7 in Q2 of last year. Net cash used in operating activities improved by 63.2 million compared to Q2 of last year. Non GAAP operating cash generated was 99.8 million, an improvement of 47.8 million compared to Q2 of last year available liquidity uh, as of june 30th 2023 643 million including 208 million of undrawn capacity under the company's revolving credit facility and things that come from this report that we need to talk about later in the next video under the heading amc preferred equity unit at the market equity program there are currently no APE units available to be issued under the September 2022 ATM equity program. Remember that sentence. Uh, with cash at 643, that's almost a three quarter runway, and that doesn't include what we've done since uh, June 30th, so we'll be looking at that as well. And here are the headlines going into our earnings call later this afternoon. AMC Entertainment rides box office revival to top Q2 forecasts. AMC Entertainment swings to profit on strong Q2 box office. And from MarketWatch, AMC rallies after swinging to profit on highest quarterly attendance since 2019. And at the time of this recording, cost to borrow is creeping up. Currently, 15,000 shares available at 260.10%. That's up from 210.57 earlier. And yesterday, off exchange volume exceeded 60%. So the crimes in the open continue. At the time of this recording, I've got Max Payne at 5, a put call ratio of 1.6387. FTDs through the roof, elevated cost to borrow, elevated short score, you know, elevated days to cover, looking good so far. And of course, as of yesterday, AMC remained on the New York Stock Exchange list of threshold criminal securities. And here's a peek into the future. World's largest cryptocurrency ATM network integrates XRP support, follows recent ruling and market surge. Top ATM service provider CoinFlip has integrated XRP. This integration marks a unique push that shows XRP's growing accessibility. From the article, leading Bitcoin ATM operator CoinFlip has integrated Ripple Labs associated XRP tokens on its order desk. 
This means that investors would be able to purchase the token on its platform, which provides insights into the market and complementary access to personalized client managers. Hey, I want to thank you for watching and please remember to hit the like button after this slide if you enjoyed the presentation. Subscribe to the channel and set the alert so you're notified when I have new information to share. See you at the bell.